Hi, and welcome to this tutorial about how to share a Google document. Now this is going to go over the basics, and the first thing you need to do is get to your Google Doc screen, obviously. Second thing you want to do is you want to check one of your documents right here. So I'm checking this one. I happen to own it because I uploaded it earlier. So when you check mark it, you'll see a preview over here, and then you'll see something that says sharing settings. So you want to go ahead and click on that. You're going to see a screen, obviously, sharing settings. Now, it tells you that you're the owner, and I'm going to get to this part in just a second. Let's say you just want to share this document with one other person or a couple other people. What you do is come down here and click on Add People. Now, you can type in their email addresses individually if you want. For example, I want to share this with Scott Shepard. Now, notice when I start typing, he pops up down here. That's because he's in my email contacts. You can choose from contacts. You'll get a little screen that pops up. And then if you look at this, share that with her. <laughs> Done. So you can do that as well. So you can choose from your contacts or you can type them in. So then you have an option to notify people via email. Now if I am sharing with students or if students are sharing with me, I tell them to uncheck this box. If I know it's coming, I don't want any more email in my inbox than there already is. However, if they don't know it's coming, leave it closed. Okay? And then you can actually add a little message if you want. You can send a copy to yourself in case you want confirmation that you sent it, in case they say, oh, well, I didn't get it. And Or you can paste the item itself into the email. I've sometimes done this with forms. But whatever you want to do, when you're done, you hit share and save. And then that person is then added to the list. Now let's say you're like, oops, I didn't want to share it with that person. All you have to do is go over here and click the X. Now if you notice next to it, Kirsten Gruenberg has edit rights to that document. You don't have to give her edit rights. You can change that. You can actually make her the owner. You can make it so she can just put comments in the documents, or you can make it so she can only view it and she can't do anything in the document. So really it's up to you who that person is, why you're sharing it with them, which option you're going to choose. But if I want to remove her, hit the X, hit save changes, voila, I'm done. Now, when I am sharing a document with a class, last year what I did was I tried to share with each individual person. Google only lets you have so many shares a day, and I always would run out before I got to all the children. So what I do this year is this instead. I hit change, and you'll get this. You can make it public on the web. You can, anybody in the, on the internet can obviously find it and see it. I actually change it to anyone with the link. And if I'm sharing this with students, I leave it to them as can view. Now again, you can change that if you want. You can have them edit it or comment on it. But I always leave it as can view. And then you can hit save. Then you'll notice up here there is now a link. And what I will do is I will copy that link and then either in a document or on my web page I will actually put that link in the document or in a web page that they can click on and they can open the document. I have found that this works much better and then I show them how they can make a copy of that document to put in there. So lots of ways to share. Again you can do this from this screen. The other thing you can do is if you actually click on this document to open it You'll see a share button in the upper right. Yours may look a little different from mine because this is the newer view. Okay. You can hit share and the same kind of screen will pop up. Okay. So you can either do it within the document itself or you can do it from the Google Docs screen, which is this. So that's the basics on how to share documents. If you have any questions, let me know.